Right? Eight, Alex built this to, seven, to see how six, inexpensively he could five, build a bot. Four, Silent Spring three, with its shuffle drive is two, a five pound, one, three pound. Fight, robots fight. Oh, good box rush, Alex. Yeah, and he's very well got done. Jameson Go on his head. Wow. But Jameson Go is really showing his driving experience here, just staying on top of Alex. Yeah, it's careful very... what you wish for. Oh, and we've already him seen up on top of Bert. We've already seen. Be careful what you wish for. Has a really hard time self-writing and seems to fall on that heavy wedge a lot when it gets kicked up into the air. Right. Yeah. It kind of struggles to self-write as well. Yeah. The geometry just isn't there for the self-writer. Not quite. Oof. One of my favorite facts about Be Careful What You Wish For is that uh, that self-writer is attached by a hair tie. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it retracts. I don't think Silent Spring uh, has ever seen a hair tie uh, within 50 yards of that robot. That is amazing. But you know what? Be Careful What You Wish For has survived pretty well. 70 seconds in this fight so far. Oh, this is just an absolutely punishing match. Jameson Go is not uh, not content with allowing Alex to just die on his head. Gotta say, I love. Be careful what you wish for. Is a sticker there, running the behind the bot sticker. Yeah, trying to get some favor from the announcers. You can tell. <laughs> Listen, we would love Alex no matter what stickers he ran on his body. Amen to that, yeah, absolutely. As a fellow South Jersey and Alex, I'm always rooting for you, buddy. This is a really brutal match, but his bot's holding up fantastically. He hasn't lost any major parts at this point. And when I talked to Jameson Go earlier today, he said that uh, the geometry of that shuffle motion should make Silent Spring faster than Silent X, which you uh, may have caught in the September event. It seems faster. What's interesting to me is it seems quieter. Have you noticed that? It seems quieter. Yeah. I think it's because he's run his vertical now twice. But, uh, but yeah, it does seem like right, the, it the was like motion. it was thumping along it was before. Thumping, yeah. yeah, and now it's it's just kind of rattling. It's interesting. Yeah, I wonder what changes he's made to that system in order to just kind of get that more efficient, quieter motion. I think that we will see uh, walking silent spring now permanently going forward. Well, obviously, oh, yeah. What's that? Something's been severed. I think that's Seventeen the hair tie. seconds left. Isn't that the hair tie? It could be the hair. It is the hair tie. Yeah. Oh no! And the the Jamo's done it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. This one goes to the judges. Listen, it goes to the judges, but he lost the hair tie. He lost the sticker. I'm I'm telling you. The sticker. That was the most important part. Agree. All right, maybe we can go very quickly. Jack, your thoughts on this fight? Silent Spring versus Be Careful What You Wish For. Yeah, it was really close for the majority of that fight, but, you know, as someone with long hair, I understand the importance of a hair tie, so once that was gone, it really set <laughs> in stone for me that Silent X won. All right, we've got one vote for Silent Spring. How about you, Don? I don't know how I'm going to decide, guys, but once once he lost that sticker, that was the turning point. And, you know, Silent <laughs> Spring on it. Absolutely. All right, we've got two votes for Silent Spring. Diana, your thoughts? I'm also going to go with Silent Spring. The hair tie and the sticker, you can't, once you lose those things, you got nothing. So, yeah. I mean, those are not ablative. Key component to the armor and the weapon, you know, <laughs> if you can't. All right, Jameson Go back. survives in the loser's bracket. And uh, be careful what you wish for is going home early. Thanks so much, Alex. All right, on over to Cage One. We've got Dread Hades. Yes. Run by Tyler Wynn, the captain of Perfect Phoenix on BattleBots. In his corner is Ray Billings, Tombstone Captain Ray Billings versus Jack Ketch. Jack Ketch is built by um, Drew Davis. Yep. So this is 